Now, if you're given the mean, uh, but not given the standard deviation, the situation uh, algebraically is very similar to the previous set of problems, where you didn't have the mean, but you had the standard deviation instead. So we're going to need to use the z equals x minus mu over sigma formula. Okay, so um, let's draw a diagram of what we've got for part A. So we know the mean this time. The mean is 85. Uh, and we know that the probability of x being less than 88. So to the left of 88 is 0.51. So that's 88. This is 0.51. Okay, so 51% of, uh, of the graph. Now, I can't quite draw it accurately, okay, so that, that'll just have to do it. Remember, it's just a diagram. So, we're going to have to look up the z value, okay, uh, by using the inverse normal on our table. So, we're using table 2. So, the inverse normal of the 0 0.51, 0 0.51, is 0. 0251. 0 0.0251. So that's z. And that's equal to x, which is 88. Take away the mean, 85, over the standard deviation, sigma 1 in this case. So I'm going to need to multiply up by the sigma 1. 88 take away 85, I already know that's 3. So sigma 1 is 3 divided by 0 0.0251. So 3 divided by 0 0.0251 is 119.5219124. Okay. So that must be the standard deviation. So this is 119.5 to 4 sig fig. OK, so that's our answer to pi. So let's have a look at B. So let's draw a diagram first. The mean is at 209. To the right of 120 is 0.92. Well, 120 would have to be down here in order for this to be 0.92. OK. Now, I can't look up um, 0.92 to the right. But remember, with the symmetry of the graph, this is the same as looking up 0.92 in your inverse norm tables, OK? So if I look up inverse norm of 0 0.92, then I get 0 0.92 is 1.4051. So the z value, because that would be 0 0.92 and down from over here, because of the symmetry, the z value I'm looking at is the negative of this. So minus 1.4051 is the z value. The x value is the 120. The mean is 209. And that's divided by the standard deviation, so sigma 2. So multiplying up by the sigma 2, one, minus 1 1.4051, sigma 2. OK. So then we're going to do 120 take away 209. So minus 89. So sigma 2 is minus 89 divided by minus 1.4051. So careful with the negatives. They're going to cancel one another out. So we've got 89 divided by 1.4051. So 63.3406875. So 63.34 to 4 sig fig. OK, and so that will be the required standard deviation.